Hello, my name is Kira Smith, and today I'm going to be reading you guys a book called Nerdy Birdie Tweets by Aaron Reynolds. So I didn't read this book a lot as a kid or anything, but I really like the messages, and I think they're very important in today's world. So, one, don't be mean to friends. Two, remember, it's not about the number of friends you have, it's about how good your friends are. And three, take a break from being online every once in a while because you live in the real world, not the online world. Let's get into it. This is Nerdy Birdie. Nerdy Birdie loves playing video games. This is Vulture. Vulture thinks video games are boring. Vulture loves snacking on dead things. Nerdy Birdie thinks dead things are gross. Nerdy Birdie and Vulture are very different. They are also best friends. Three things Nerdy Birdie and Vulture love to do together. One, make fun of each other's lunch. Two, make silly faces. Three, take goofy pictures of each other. One day, Nerdy Birdie discovered an amazing new game. It's called Tweetster, he told Vulture. Uh, what does it do? asked Vulture. Lots of things. One, Collect tons of online friends who may or may not text you back. 2. Play games with all of them. 3. Tweet messages and pictures for them all to see. Sounds, um, awesome, said Vulture, even though it really sounded kind of dull. An hour later, Nerdy Birdie had 50 new Tweetster friends. I'm friends with a flamingo. Neat. A day later, Nerdy Birdie had 100 new Tweetster friends. He played Angry Worms with an ostrich and tweeted his score. I'm friends with an ostrich. How cool is that? Cool. A week later, Nerdy Birdie had 500 new Tweetster friends. He had never dreamed he could have that many friends. I'm friends with a puffin. She lives in Iceland. Iceland. You're friends with a vulture, and she's dying of boredom. Boredom. Let's do something different. In a minute. This is not fun. Did you realize I can fit your whole body in my beak? I could eat you in one bite if I wanted to. Mm hmm. That's nice. Vulture decided she had had enough of watching Nerdy Birdie play Tweetster. Vulture spread her wings and flew away. An hour later, Nerdy Bird finally noticed. The next day, Vulture had a surprise for Nerdy Birdie. Vulture had joined Tweetster. They Tweetstered together all morning. At lunchtime, they put away their games. It was just like old times. They made fun of each other's lunch. They made silly faces, and they took goofy pictures of each other. But when they logged back into Tweetster, Vulture found a surprise waiting for her. What is this? Nerdy birdie. At Vulture is a messy eater. She eats dead things. Ew. Oh, that? It's a picture from lunch. Why did you tweet it to all your Tweetster friends? I thought it was funny. Just because you thought it doesn't mean you should tweet it. Why? It's embarrassing. I just thought, no, you didn't. Vulture spread her wings and flew away. An hour later, Vulture hadn't come back to their favorite telephone wire. A day later, Vulture still wouldn't answer any of Nerdy Birdie's calls. Vulture! A week later, Nerdy Birdie found a dead squirrel on the road, Vulture's favorite snack. He waited for hours, hoping she might stop by. Vulture never showed up. But 
then it hit him. Nerdy Birdie had 500 tweetster friends. He'd ask them for advice. He tweeted, my best, my best friend is mad at me. What should I do? Ten minutes later, nobody had tweeted back. An hour later, nobody had tweeted back. A day later, only three tweetster friends had tweeted back. What do you want me to do about it? I live in Iceland. Unhelpful. Lol, stinks to be you. Super unhelpful. Try not to be such a bird brain. Lol. It wasn't meant to be helpful. But it was super duper helpful. Nerdy Birdie closed down his game. He opened up his tiny little wings and he flew. He flew high. He flew low. He flew across town. He flew over fields. Until he spotted her. Vulture blended right into the branches of the dead oak tree. But Nerdy Birdie knew his best friend a mile away. I was a bird brain. Vulture said nothing. I shouldn't have tweeted that photo of you. Vulture said nothing. I'm sorry, said Nerdy Bird. You should be, said Vulture. I really am. And he really was. What about your 500 tweetster friends? Nerdy Bird shrugged. One real live you is worth a thousand tweetster friends. This is Nerdy Birdie. This is Vulture. They are very different. They are also best friends. Some days, Nerdy Birdie decides what they should do. Take that. I just beat your Angry Worms all-time high score. Superior Worms score. One more game, please. Some days, Vulture decides what they should do. Dead Raccoon, dead head. I see it. And some days, they even get together and tweet. The end. So, that's all I have for you guys today, but I hope you enjoyed, and I remember the lessons, because they're important. So yeah, thank you.